What's up entities? Welcome back to Don't Starve. This is episode 3, day 3, and as you can see I'm kind of short in my inventory real quick. Now I want to try not to cut off too many things out the video, like I want you to get the full experience of everything that's happening on this playthrough, but I will fast forward a lot. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm going to be fast forwarding on the parts where I'm gathering and not much is really going on, And I'll, but I'll try my best to keep as much in the video as possible. Now right here I'm burning these poor trees, these poor poor trees, I'm just burning them down because I really need the charcoal and I'll explain exactly why I need that a little further down in the episode. Oh, oh, not enough space. Oh, 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 inventory issues. Inventory issues are real. I also didn't mention that almost everything can burn. So if there's a fire going on close to something that can catch on fire, it will catch on fire. So potentially you can set up your base and just lose your whole base just because something got set on fire. I'm sure the more experienced players know all about that. And speaking of bases, that's exactly what I'm going to try to set up today. I want to like at least get a little foundation going of my base and maybe set up a few traps, things of that nature. But I'm going to let you enjoy some of the gameplay and I'll be back shortly. And don't my tool breaks. Yeah, tools break. That's the thing. This is part of the reason why you need a lot of resources. I was taking a moment to decide exactly where I wanted to place this, but there we go. I decided on that spot from the first episode that I wanted to make my base around here. So here it is. I set my fire pit. Now the fire pit is useful because it doesn't burn out. And what I mean by that is, yes, the fire will eventually go out, but the fire pit will stay in place. So as long as you always have the fuel, you can always return and light it back up. Now, as you can see, I'm also setting these traps down to capture wabbits. Each one of these traps takes six grass and two saplings so all that grass and sapling collecting from earlier is definitely going to come in handy now Right here I decided to build the science machine. What this lets you do is it gives you access to recipes that you didn't have before. So for example it lets you refine things which I'm about to do right now. So I'm making cut stone. Each cut stone takes three regular stones to make. And I'm going to use that cut stone along with the charcoal from earlier to make a crock pot. Now what a crock pot lets you do is it lets you cook recipes to make all sorts of delicious meals. So it's very, very helpful. Now it's getting dark again. So you got to remember to keep your fire pit lit. So I make a shovel that's going to be useful for digging things up later.
and I also gonna refine some boards. Now each board takes four logs to make and it takes three boards to make a chest and a chest lets you store some of your items. What I'm gonna stash in there is all those webbits that I'll be catching in my traps. So it's not looking too bad. We got a fire pit, a science machine, a crock pot and a chest. Now I'm gonna cook these carrots cause my character's getting hungry. The last thing I'm also gonna build is a backpack and the backpack is gonna let me carry eight more things so that's definitely going to ease the inventory issues well that's my time thank you so much for watching more videos coming soon so hit that hit that subscribe button and I hope to catch you in the next one.